Animal rearing is one of the pastimes of an average Sokoto man. One can hardly find a house where animals are not reared. These animals range from smaller ones like sheep and goats to bigger ones like cattle. In this piece, our concern is on the Sokoto breed of cattle known as Sokoto Gudale. The Sokoto Gudale is an indigenous breed of cattle in Nigeria, predominantly found in the northwestern part of the country, especially Sokoto. This breed of cattle are mostly white in color with traditional dark brown coloration at the shoulder and neck region, though there are black and brown ones among them. They have predominantly developed umbilical cord and short horns and they provide beef and milk. The Sokoto Gudali breed of cattle are very productive, mature within two years and can start calving after three years. The interval between calving and conception for them is 60 to 70 days and the average gestation period is 280 days. The Sokoto Gudali are non-seasonal, but they breed more during the rainy season. Why are this breed of cattle called Sokoto Gudali? The word Gudali is a Fulani or Fulfulde the word means white. So the, 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 the word Gudali is used on the cattle that is purely white. And uh, Sokoto Gudali means the cattle that is found within Sokoto that is white in color. But a special breed that has been found within Sokoto because we have things like Adamawa Gudali which is located in Adamawa. So Sokoto Gudali is a special breed of cattle that is white and treated within Sokoto, that is commonly found in Sokoto. It's a very good breed that is the most common one that is being used in livestock farming by our people in this part of the country. Like other breeds of cattle, the Sokoto Gudali are herbivorous and largely graze on grass during the rainy season and on crop residues during the dry season. What differences are there between Sokoto Gudali and other breed of cattle? Uh, Sokoto Gudali is a very good breed because it is basically used in milking as well as uh, meat production. The docility nature of Sokoto Gudali makes it more attached to the livestock farmers because it is not as wild as, say, Red Baroo which is actually even under normal circumstances can attack somebody. Now the docility nature of the animal and the productivity of the animal makes it more attached to the uh, livestock farmers. Uh, you'll observe that even within the household, most of our people keep their animals with, uh, they, they house their animals uh, together. That is to say, you keep yourself with your, in the same environment with your animals. And uh, that is because of the docility nature of these animals. And once they get used to you, you'll find that even your kids can be able to go to that place, touch them, milk them, and nothing happens. The common diseases of the Sokoto Gudali are mainly internal and external parasite. Dr. Abdukadu Janedo speaks further. There are diseases that are actually common in this part of the country, and which actually affects Sokoto Gudali. Not only Sokoto Gudali in particular, but other breeds of animals. Things like brucellosis which is a disease that causes abortion. It's a very common disease and that is the problem at times you may likely face when you keep your animals within your household. When you have such a disease which can be transmitted to humans, which will cause zoonotic diseases. The Sokoto Gudale is mostly found in the northwestern part of the country. Although they have similar morphological characteristics with Adama Gudale, an Indo-Brazil breed, there are no traces of any other similar breed along the coast of Nigeria. Sokoto Gudali is found in almost every household in Sokoto. <laughs>